What would you um, say are the main sort of areas that we need to address in terms of destigmatizing sleepiness um, as a barrier to pursuing a diagnosis? So I think first and foremost, we need to acknowledge that in 2014, a CDC declared the United States in a major public health crisis due to sleep disorders. We're a country who wears it as a badge of honor of that, mm-hmm. I'll sleep when I'm dead, right? And and so <sighs> to that, my, my frequent response is, well, you'll just get there a lot sooner. And oh, the, the, the reality is, is that we view inability to function due to sleepiness as a weakness, right? And this becomes even more glaringly obvious, the more competitive Mm -hmm. the field you get into, right? So if Mm -hmm. you're in medical school, law school, residency, et cetera, what do you mean you can't man up and get through this 27-hour shift or you can't do that? So if we in the field of medicine are stigmatizing each other and bullying one another for not being able to get through it and man up enough, then how are we going to role model or even be able to advocate for the general population that this is this is a problem, right? right. And so in addition to that, the number of times where having conversations with teenagers, for instance, and talking mm-hmm. about sleepiness or even young adults and talking about sleepiness and, and why that's a pathology and the, the reflection or the perception is it's normal. And the reality is, is that it's not normal. It's common. It's very mm-hmm. common. But it doesn't mean that common is normal. And and this has been even responses that I've gotten on social media where I had posted a, a duet or, or a stitch to a video of a, of a student, uh, of a teacher ridiculing a student for sleeping in the class. Mm-hmm. And and basically providing the redirection that, that that really is not the way to go. Like if, if someone is falling asleep in class, number one, don't take it as an insult because the whole concept of I only sleep when I'm on board is a farce. Mm-hmm. You sleep because you're sleepy, not because you're mm-hmm. bored. Okay, boredom okay. doesn't put you to sleep. Right. Um, and so the response, one of the responses I had gotten was like, basically, like, cool it, chick. You're like pulling a five alarm fire. It was just a nap. Like everyone naps, <laughs> and I'm like, and then like again, my response is. I'm not making a five alarm fire because of the nap. I'm making a five Mm -hmm. alarm fire, number one, because of the response to the nap. And also to raise awareness, purely further emphasizing the awareness that's needed of that sleepiness is not normal. It's it's horrifyingly common, but it's Mm -hmm. by far not normal. And so I think really the first place we need to go is, is identifying that sleepiness is a problem, that daytime napping should go away by five years of age. If you are requiring naps, that by itself is telling you not necessarily that you have narcolepsy or idiopathic hypersomnia, but you may have a duration problem, a quality problem, a timing problem, or you may have a hypersomnolence issue. 